Hello, I'm Tom Will from the Bartizzo Lab, and in this particular video, I'm talking about the use of the umbrella in self-defense. I've got other videos on my channel about using a long umbrella, a hooked umbrella for self-defense. However, increasingly common in especially urban commuter environments is a smaller, more compact umbrella, and this is mine. You'll notice that I have prudently chosen my umbrella to have a decent quality weight end to it, because in self-defense scenarios, it's this particular element that's very important. This is useless. This, this body of the umbrella is absolutely rubbish. But you wanna make sure that you've got a reasonably robust end to it. So, one of the best ways to use, again, I say this in all my videos, you need to make sure that you're up on your physical, mental, psychological self-defense, using the fence, using discussion, using awareness. If it goes to pot, if it doesn't go to plan, and you need to be able to be offensive with this situation or weapon, here's one of the ways in which we use it in the Bartutsu lab. So first things first, I take this sabre grip on the end. So I've got my thumb, and my thumb is essentially my pointer. Where the thumb goes, the hard bit of this goes. So I treat my thumb as the laser pointer, okay? So making sure that if a situation seems like it may occur, I go from holding my umbrella in the passive bit to holding it just by the bottom. I can still look relaxed with this. I'm holding my umbrella, I'm holding it by my leg. I can do what I want with it and not look overly threatening, but at any one time, boom, I can thrust with this and cause significant damage. And the little drill I'm gonna show you is we've gone from the talking hands fence and we're gonna do a blow which I call the Pez. You might have seen those American sweets, the Pez dispensers, the head goes back, the sweet pops up. Typically, we tend to advocate palm heels to the jaw, smash it in, yeah? So this tiger claw style. For this particular technique, because I'm armed with a superior weapon than my tiger claw strike, we're gonna go for the Pez. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm pushing the flat of my hand against the top of his forehead, and I want his head to go back, like so. Nice, nice and easy, doing the Pez. You can do it from quite far away, you can do it from quite up close. And for most people, it will, you know, I'm a big guy, I've got a pretty strong neck. Even a small person doing that against my forehead lifts my head, does the pez. So, we're talking hands, we've made sure we've got our umbrella in a combative position. At any one point, when we feel it's necessary, we drive in and do the pez. Importantly, no, I don't just use my hand, my body weight comes with it. You notice there's an inclination, I drive that forward, boom. So we do the pez, we drive into the throat with this sabre grip umbrella, one. And then finally, we do a short, sharp hooking blow to the jaw. So we're going pez, throat, jaw. And you notice I'm stepping away. So my left leg is circling back. I'm striking to the jaw with this to make my exit, okay? I can, if I want to, hold on and keep smashing with this. But for the purpose of this drill, we're gonna treat it as Three attacks and skedaddle. So from here, fence, fence, fence. Pez dispenser, thrust to throw, turning step or an esquive if you're talking in savat language. And I drive this in a hook-like motion. Again, all the anatomy of a hook with this into the jaw. You can go for the side of the neck, but the neck is very strong, even where the arteries are. It's a strong old unit, the neck. The front, the trachea, the windpipe, that is quite crunchy. You can smash that and cause some damage. The sides of the neck is really hit and miss depending on the size of the person, the strength of the person, their anatomy. You can't condition your jawbone that well. So again, doing the pez, we're putting our body into it. We're ramming this into the throat. We're stepping and we're firing this hook style shot. So fence, fence, fence. <coughs> fence, fence, fence. <coughs> Fence, fence. <laughs> One more super slow. I drive this in, just aiming for the hard, you know, the front, front bit of the forehead. I just want to drive his head up. I ram this into his throat. I step and strike with this to the jaw. Pez, throat thrust, step and strike. Pez, throat, st throat stab, step and strike. Pez, Throat thrust, step and strike. There are lots of other ways you can defend yourself with this. If it's down low, we can drive into the solar plexus. If we're too close, 
we can just come directly under the field of vision. So if we get very, very close, we've always got that shot. So this into a headbutt is really useful. <coughs> ourselves kind of encroached upon and the weapon is somewhere in the midriff take a two-handed grasp of the weapon and just drive it straight up into the throat so if they've collapsed us too early we end up in some type of stand-up grapple get two hands on this base myself strong and drive up <laughs> straight from there you won't want much of that so if mid technique I just end up closed on don't use one hand two-handed grip drive up from the floor <laughs> straight up so here, two-handed grip, straight up, two-handed grip, straight up, two-handed grip, straight up. Give those a play, anything you can do with this, you can do with a torch, you can do with any other small to mid-sized blunt weapon. But again, if you are using a small urban umbrella, make sure you train with it, pick one wisely, think of the anatomy of it, and train with that specific umbrella for the scenarios that may occur. Cheers.